I got the beaver. Well, I just uh, recently received uh, the grill slash uh, rotisserie from uh, Viver, and I used it yesterday for the first time. I grilled uh, those trout, and man, they were fantastic. They were super good. I actually seen a video years ago of uh, uh, out in Japan. He was uh, grilling some uh, eel in a similar way, and I said, I'm going to try that sometime with trout, and man, that was really, really good. Definitely, definitely be doing that again. And uh, today I removed uh, the rotisserie. Uh, I'll probably uh, do a video using the rotisserie another time. Uh, you know, I've got a duck or a nice fat goose rotis done on that rotisserie would, would be fantastic. Yeah, really, 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 really enjoying this grill. And I tell you, this is going to get a lot of use. Today I'm going to have kind of like a surf and turf, along with some uh, bok choy. Uh, that's an Angus rib steak right there, and right here is a Northern Prawns uh, Borealis Shrimp. And these were cut on a factory freezer. Uh, these were uh, cut, cooked, and frozen, so these are already cooked and they're still frozen a bit, so we got to talk more. But I am going to put them on the skewers and just, they won't be on the grill very long at all. And, uh, you know, when I was getting all this ready, I said, you know what? Moose Elowitz would be really good on the grill as well. So I took out a pack of moose alouettes, I'm just going to get them in the water there now so they tie kind of quick. And obviously this is quite a bit of food for myself, so so whatever's left over I'm just going to devour supper time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just imagine. Oh, I mean, I mean they got to be good. Uh, if you're not sure what an alouette is, it's just like strips of moose meat cut into like a slice of bacon, spiced up, lodged down a slice of bacon, rolled up together. And I tell you, these northern prawns are fantastic just eating. You know, just cold like this as well. Look at that. Mmm, unbelievably tasty. Now, these moose alouettes are still froze kind of hard, but like, this one's a little softer, but I still get them on the skewer, it's the main thing. So I'm getting hungry, I'm not, <laughs> I'm getting these on there as quick as I could. Maybe there, four, five, seven. Try to half them up on each skewer, huh? Guys. One more for this one. Come on, let's run for the grill. Let's run for the grill. Oh my, oh my. Just look at this. Just look at this right here. Heat. Just look at that. 
Now next time I'm going to use uh, either metal skewers or at least soak the wooden ones in water for a while, but man, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. I did overcook the steak a little bit, but it's really hard to control the heat there. But he's still a bit juicy, so that's good. And just look at these moose alouettes right here. Oh. Not too, too bad. So, so tasty. Well, I must say, you know, it's uh, warm out here today. Uh, I was just out and I planted all my raised garden beds. Planted uh, a lot of different type of stuff there. Uh, it might never grow, but I try. <laughs> yeah, I even planted some uh, sunflower seeds around the house there too. Uh, this here's the rotisserie uh, from the grill. And that rotisserie, you know, can handle up to 132 pounds. And uh, the grill size, I believe it's something like close on 35 inches by 27. You know, it's made of stainless steel and got adjustable wheels and whatnot. But uh, I'm going to put some uh, links in the description if anyone is interested or want to check out like, uh, more details on it and so on. And there's different links depending on where you're from. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, I think it's best now uh, to leave the, the, the rotisserie mode and stuff off until you actually use it. Uh, no need to keep it out there, you know, uh, getting hot all the time uh, when you're only using the grill portion. But later on, like I said, I'm going to uh, roast up uh, some kind of wild bird. Maybe black duck be really nice, but it might, maybe even adventurous and try an eider duck. But I think it'd be pretty hard to cook the food. It would be tough, you know, a lot tougher than a, a black duck. But I might give it a try all the same. And I think a goose be really nice down on there, actually. Uh, yeah, just. Uh, not too much heat, just let it uh, slow cook over time. Uh, maybe I'll try it and have some friends over sometime. But yeah, uh, I guess that's it for this video though, guys. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed it. Take care, all the best from the big land. He's <laughs> looking right at me. Look.